Okay, so you remember a while ago we did the test on the uh, expansion tank on the 3 Series diesel and we had these pulses um, coming from the expansion tank and there were a few theories of where they were coming from um, one of them being the, the belt. So when the engine was running the belt would speed up the engine causing an increase in coolant pressure, that was the theory anyway. However, you remember we took the belt off and this is what we uh, got. So we still got the pulses in the coolant tank. So we're still left with questions and there are a few kind of ideas on where that could be coming from again. Still the uh, cylinder walls flexing was one of them. Uh, the microphone uh, theory that it was just kind of listening to the engine and, and it could hear it. And also potentially like the, the coolant hoses and things like that. So. Um, I actually set this test up today on this three-cylinder uh, Volkswagen engine. This is a Seat, and uh, this is what we got. So we've got a trigger here on cylinder one. That's the ignition coil. However, look, we've got two pulses, not three. This is a three-cylinder engine. So where are those two pulses coming from? And I think we've cracked it. So take a look at this. Okay, so we've got the uh, paddle probe on cylinder one there, and we can see that we've got that cylinder one trigger just there, and we've got the rock key pull sensor in the expansion tank, okay? Now, one of the ideas was that the pull sensor was actually being vibrated. Now, if I hold it and move it, you, you can see it doesn't really affect. It's kind of being suspended on itself, and the waveform doesn't really change, okay? Now, if we just kind of take that out of there, we can see that the waveform goes away. Okay, that's, that's nowhere near it now. I suppose we've got the microphone theory, whereas if we put that kind of close to the engine, it doesn't really recreate what we saw, okay? However, if we put that in there now, look, you watch the waveform as we put it in. As soon as we make that seal, it comes back. And if you break the seal, it goes away. So it's got to be do to do with the pressure inside here. So as you might know, these are mega sensitive. So if you look on the screen there, if we, if we move it around, we get some changes. In fact, if I just put my finger over the end of that hose and, and squeeze this bit of hose here, we can see that we get a massive change in pressure, okay? So, going back to that waveform, where do we think these pulses are coming from? We can see that we've got cylinder one and cylinder one here, yet there are two pulses and this is a three-cylinder engine. So let me just save that waveform. You can go and pick it up from mechanicmindset.com on the free YouTube waveform library. If we just start this up again, I'm going to put it onto 500 milliseconds divisions. And if I just squeeze that hose ever so slightly, you can see that we get a change on that sensor. Okay. What's more is if we shake the engine, look at that. So the hoses are basically flexing, causing that pulse in the coolant tank, okay? So if we now start the engine and maybe just try and hold the engine, those pulses should go away. Okay, it definitely has an effect on them, look. So if I hold the engine, of course I can't, hold it completely still, my arms are shaking, and so is my voice, but it definitely has an effect on that. In fact, if we look at it at a different time base, so uh, 50 milliseconds, if we can change it, we should see it a bit easier. So if I hold on that, you can see we can reduce it slightly just by trying to hold the engine, and then it comes back again. So I think we've found where they're coming from.